So my second presentation has the title Tractability of the CRISP Representations of Tractable Fuzzy Description Logics. It's a joint research with Miguel Delgado from the Department of Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence at the University of Granada, Spain. In my previous presentation, I gave some ideas of, of CRISP representations of fuzzy description logics. And in this work, we uh, try to give an answer to the question of uh, when these uh, CRISP representations are tractable. So as uh, for those that uh, didn't attend my first presentation, one important line of research in this field is the computation of an equivalent CRISP representation of a fuzzy ontology. This way, it's possible to reason with this resulting ontology by using standard description logic reasoners, such as FACT, Pellet, uh, Hermit, Racer, etc. Also, it's possible to uh, to reuse existing resources, such as editors, etc. Right now, it's possible to reason with very expressive fuzzy description logics. Usually, uh, it's possible to reason with Zeroic D, which is almost equivalent to, to equivalent to the language O2, and with different fuzzy logics, Sade, Gödel, Lukasevich. And our goal here is to study this property tractability of the CRISP representations, depending on the fuzzy logic considered. Tractable description logics. I mm, I intended to skip this uh, this part because the previous presentation was supposed to talk a little bit about tractable description logics. But summarizing, they provide uh, less expressive power, compromised by the efficiency of reasoning. In the current standard language, I'll do there are three fragments, also called profiles, which are OWL2EL, OWL2QL, and OWL2RL. The complexity of these logics is reduced in comparison with OWL2, of course. In the case of OWL2EL and OWL2RL, reasoning is polynomial with respect to the ontology size. On the other hand, in the case of OWL2QL, the complexity is log space with respect to the size of the A box. An example of uh, showing, illustrating how these profiles work, in this table we can see some constructors of out2 in the first column in the left side, and then we show for the uh, three profiles whether this constructor is uh, allowed, whether it is not allowed at all, or whether it is allowed in some restricted form. We can see that uh, all of them allow some constructors, but others are not allowed or restricted. This is why reasoning is more efficient. The motivation of our work is the following. We say that a fuzzy description logic language, X, where X can be, for instance, ALC, or Shrug D, or Showing D, a fuzzy description language is close under reduction if the crisp representation of a fuzzy ontology in this language is in the crisp description language X. We know that uh, fuzzy description logics sometimes enjoy this property, but the objective of this paper is to determi determine in a precise way when this property holds. Let us consider three cases, Sade, Gedel, and Lukasevich. And let's start with Sade, which is the easiest one. This logic makes possible to obtain smaller crisp representation than with Gedel and Lukasevich uh, fuzzy connected. Why? Let us see with an example. If we have this conjunction here, A is an instance of C and D with degree at least uh, 0 .7, 0 .6, we can deduce both that it's an instance of C with this degree and it's an instance of D with this degree because the semantics of the conjunction is given by the minimum T norm. However, in Lukasevich logic, this is not possible. And we have to build a disjunction over all the possibilities, as it happened in the case of finite fuzzy logics in my previous presentation. For instance, considering the, the same case as before, now we have five possibilities. And we have to build a disjunction of both of them. 
either A belongs to C with a degree greater or equal to 1 and to D with a degree greater or equal to dot 6 or the degree of belonging to C is at least dot 9 and the degree of belonging to D is at least dot 7 and so on. We have to consider all the possibilities that make Lukasiewicz T norm behave in this way. Now we can prove the following property. In Sade Fuzzy logic, a fuzzy language is closed under reduction if and only if it includes, it includes GCI and role hierarchies. If you remember from the previous presentations, we need to add some GCIs and role inclusions to maintain the semantics of the new CRISP operators. And this result applies to all the three profiles of our two. As an example, the language ALC, which does not contain role hierarchies, fails. And this logic ALC is not close under reduction. This is intuitive because, as already mentioned, we need to add some role hierarchies to maintain the semantics of cat roles, and they are not part of ALC. We need ALCH. The case of Gedel fuzzy logic is a little bit more complicated because now we have to say that if the language includes universal restrictions, then it also includes conjunction because in the reduction of this universal restriction, we introduce conjunctions. And again, this result applies to the three profiles. Now the case of Lukasiewicz fuzzy logic, which is different to the previous one. Now the property is formulated in a different way. In Lukasiewicz fuzzy logic, a description language is not closed under reduction if some of the following conditions are verified. The language does not include GCIs, it does not include role hierarchies, it includes one and only one of these junction and conjunction because either of them needs the, the other one. If the logic includes existential restric restrictions but not disjunction, again the same reason during the reduction of existential restriction we need disjunction. And finally, if the language includes universal restriction but not conjunction. This negative result applies to all to EL, QL and RL, the three fragments. In the two first cases, because they support conjunction but not, not disjunction, and in the case of RL, because it allows intersection at, as a superclass expression, it's restricted, but in that place, disjunction is not allowed. Here, we have a different formulation of the property because we only know a crisp representation of Lukasiewicz al Shoy. We do not know what happens with, with strike D at the moment of writing this paper. Now a small comment about the size of the final CRISP representations. In Sade and Gedel, AUL2 QL, the CRISP representations are in CRISP AUL2 QL, which is a tractable language. A CRISP ontology has the, uh, an A box with the same size as in the FASI case. And since the complexity of reasoning depends on the number of assertions, this is good news. But from a practical point of view, we have to be aware of the fact that the T box and the R box are larger than the original fuzzy ones because of these new axioms to maintain the semantics of the cats. Now, in the cases of EL and RL, the crisp represent representations are again in a crisp uh, tractable language. EL and RL, respectively. But now the T box and the R box are larger than the original fuzzy ones, as in the previous case. And since reasoning depends on the size of the ontology, the, the complexity increases. And a, a small comment about Gedel L2 RL, because it makes concept expressions larger than Sade fuzzy logic because of universal restriction need to build a conjunction over all the possibilities. This does not happen in EL and QL because there universal restrictions are not allowed. But in RL this happens and it has to be taken into account. And finally, uh, I would like to mention that it is especially important to use optimized crisp representations of the axioms here when dealing with tractable languages 
because it is especially important the efficiency of the, of the reasoning. For instance, we shouldn't consider domain and range axioms as GCIs, but we can provide a special reduction by taking into account the fact that they are, in fact, uh, special axioms. And that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. If you want uh, to make any comment or question. yet. This is something I would like to do, to build something, to try the different profiles, yeah, and, and of course to, to reason with them and see what happens from a practical okay. point of view. So yeah. as far as the performance and things like that, you haven't? Yeah, no, I, I never tried with these tractable fragments. Yeah, this is something I really would like to do. Thank you. Okay, that's the question.